Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at my Sephora sale recommendations and my wish list items. And we're gonna keep the video fairly brief and just kind of highlight some newer items at Sephora. But I will link a previous video down below in the description box, which is a little bit more detailed, kind of goes through, you know, everything. And then I have a very detailed shopping guide on my Shop My page. I'll leave that linked down below, but it goes through pretty much everything that I have used and liked that is sold at Sephora and my thoughts on that. So it's not just a list of products, but it's actually a shopping guide. So I'll leave that linked down below in the description box. Now, just some details about the sale from October 27th, 2023 through November 6th, that, those are the sale dates. So Sephora collection will be 30% off for everybody during that time period. Now, Rouge members during the same time period of the 27th of October through November 6th will get 20% off. And then VIB members and insider members get 15% off and 10% off respectively from the 31st, so Halloween, through November 6th. Now, I have to say, you know, if you're a VIB, 15% off is still fairly worth it. You know, that's kind of the percentage that we typically see for discounts at like Saks and Nordstrom and Macy's and so forth. So I would say that's still fairly worth it. If you're an insider getting 10% off, I mean, it's better than getting nothing off, but what you really probably wanna to try to do is Rouge members can give one code to a friend for a one-time use 20% off their purchase. So perhaps befriend somebody who has a code, check the Reddit pages and things like that. So let's move on to some recommendations. Now I wanna start off with some Sephora collection items since those are 30% off for everybody. So we'll start there and then we'll move on to some other items. But while I'm talking about the Sephora collection, I am going to be showing you some clips. I'm wearing Sephora collection items today. I have been kind of playing with these things for the past six months or so. So these are not just first impressions from them. Now I wanted to try out a lot of Sephora collection items because uh, you know, a lot of them are reported to be made in the same factories as Dior and other luxe brands. So I wanted to see how similar they are. And you can definitely find some great products from Sephora collection. And I would have to say my favorite item from the Sephora collection would be their gel lip liners. My favorite one is Bellflower. And that is kind of this like lavender mauve kind of shade. And any sort of lipstick that has a little purple in it, you know, I think goes really well with this lip liner. You know, think of Tom Ford's Sugar Glider. That's what this one makes me think of. So these lip liners, I think are great. You know, I think they are a great budget item. You can get so many different shades in here. So, you know, is it my favorite lip liner of all? Probably not my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite is actually a Givenchy liner uh, because that's just like my go-to color every day and it performs really well. But these are really close. I think the performance on these is fantastic. They're comfortable, easy to use. They're long wearing. They don't really smudge or anything and they've got great colors and they're a really affordable price. So if you've got a lipstick and you're looking for a specific shade of lip liner, one that you're not gonna use too often, this is definitely a way to get you know, a specific shade. But regardless, I think these are just a really nice lip liner. Like I put them up there with the Pat McGrath lip liners and the Givenchy. Those are kind of my go-tos, but I also really like the Sisley ones. The Sisley ones are still better, but they are very expensive. So, you know, just something to know. I think the Sephora collection lip liners, I have to say I do like them a little bit more than the new Chanel. So the older Chanel ones, I did like better than the Sephora collection, but now that they've reformulated them, I think that they are just a little bit too creamy, so they don't last quite as well. So I put the Sephora collection above them. So those would be my, fa that's my favorite item from Sephora collection. I plan on picking up more shades in the lip liners. Now, as you've been watching these demos, you can see that I did try the matte powder foundation. I think it's a, it's not great as a, powder foundation. I think it's okay, but it does look kind of dry. There's not a ton of coverage. It's not super smooth looking on the skin. Part of it is this shade is a little light for me, but I think that really helps you see the texture. However, I think using it as a setting powder 
really is an awesome choice. It's a really nice setting powder and it gives your skin just, you know, it mattifies it a little bit, but it's more of a satin matte finish and having that, that little bit of color in the powder, you know, gives you a little bit of tone correction. And, you know, I just, I think it's a really nice setting powder. So I think that's a really great option. Those are actually 50% off right now on Sephora's site. So, you know, you don't even have to wait for the 30% off. I don't know if they're going to be changing those or what, but yeah, 50% off. We also have the Golden Hour Highlighter Duo. I really like how this duo has, you know, one side that is less intense and one side that's more intense. I love that concept. The actual formula is very nice. It performs well. I do have to say though, the shades all run pretty gold. I picked this one actually up in store so I could see them in person because the lightest shade was described as gold online and it definitely looked gold in person when I could see it. I did not see any like actual swatches or anything in store. They didn't have any testers out at my, my location. So I picked up Daybreak, which looked more champagne, but it's definitely more golden on the skin. And then the lipsticks, um, they're satin hydrating lipstick. I think it's nice, it's okay. Um, I think it's a nice lipstick, you know, if you're looking for, you know, a special color for a night out, but you're not going to use it all the time, I think it's a great choice. It's comfortable, easy to use, but it is a little creamy. So you can get a little bit of feathering with this. If you, uh, you know, if that's an issue for you, definitely use a lip liner with it. But I do think it's a nice formula. So, you know, no issues with it whatsoever. A little buttery. I also have another one of their lipsticks that... Uh, they seem to be discontinuing, so we won't actually go over that one in particular, but I would have to say that this definitely feels more buttery than the previous one that I picked up. As for the eyeliners, I think the eyeliners are nice. They're not as great as the lip liners. The lip liners, I think, are better. The eyeliners, I like the 12 hour retractable eyeliner. It's waterproof, goes on pretty smoothly, and it stays put fairly well. So I like that one better. I've tried a couple of their different varieties, but I would say that one is the best out of those. Um, but again, it's not an actual favorite out of eyeliners, but I think it's a good option, particularly for some of those fun colors. And they've got so many beautiful shades. So just a quick look here at some of these items. This here is the Bellflower uh, Lip Liner, and then this is Tom Ford's Sugar Glider. You can see how similar they are. So if you've been looking for a dupe for this lipstick, I would get the lip liner. The lip liner is slightly more purple, but you could just put this lip liner on, put it on a little bit lighter, smudge out with your finger, add some gloss. There you go. You've got, you know, it's a great, more inexpensive dupe of the Sugar Glider shade. So I think that's a really good option. And the colorful eyeshadows. I think these are nice. They come in a nice price point. I think the mattes are a nice basic matte. The shimmers, I really like the shimmers. I think the metallic ones are okay. So let's look at some swatches real quickly. Let's start off here with this one here. This is the shimmer. This is shade 375 Semi-Sweet Chocolate. I would have to say, you know, it, Actually, you know, it's a little bit more of a plummy chocolate. I don't think it looks brown at all. It definitely looks more purple, um, but I think it's a really pretty shade. I really like that one. I think the shimmer formula is really nice. It's smooth. Then we have their metallics, and this one's called um, number one, To the Moon and Back. You can see these are very creamy. When you put this on with a brush, it really kind of shears it out. It can be a little patchy with a brush, but if you're looking for like a true foil look, these are really nice for that. If you're looking for something a little bit softer, you know, I don't think it's great, but I do recommend using your finger for the metallics. And then this is the matte in Natural Beauty 328. And I think the matte is nice. This is just a nice taupe. It has kind of your powdery traditional uh, formula. Overall, I would say that those are a nice product. And this is the highlighter. I have the shade Daybreak, which is number two. And this was described as a champagne shade. And you can see that it is, you know, definitely pretty neutral looking in the pan. And yeah, you know, it's champagne, but you can see on my skin 
that I get definitely more of a golden reflect on there, which isn't showing up as well in the hand swatch, but on my face, definitely golden. So one thing to note, the Sephora packaging is not all it's cracked up to be. It's plastic, it's inexpensive. You can see this is actually broken here. I had some issues with a couple packaging items, you know, just kind of, they're all wrapped in plastic and taking that off was a little difficult. And uh, some of my, my components here were gonna fall, fall apart. Then we also have the Sephora blushes. This one here is Shame on You. And I really like how these go on. They're buildable, they're light, they're a nice powdery blush. I think the blushes are a really great product. So overall, this Sephora collection, you know, the glosses I think are nice. They're a little bit thicker than something like a Dior lip maximizer. They do have a plumping gloss, which I have not tried, but they're a little bit thicker. They're a nice gloss though, uh, great you know, great comfortable level. And let me just show you a swatch. I just wanted to show you a swatch of this one here. This is the Sephora gloss in number 10 wild and the Dior lip maximizer in number three, which is the lavender shade. So just wanted to show you how these compare because I think this is a really great alternative. So you can see this is pretty translucent, but you've got this like bluish lavender shimmer in there. And then here's the Dior. It's a little bit more pink, but it's gonna be pretty similar. So if you've been looking for something like this, you know, I think that the Sephora collection is a really great alternative to the Dior Lip Maximizer, specifically for certain shades. And uh, overall, formula-wise though, I find it very comfortable. It's more of your traditional gloss, you know, a little bit thicker in formulation. Uh, <laughs> Slight, I wouldn't say it's sticky on the lips per se, but it's definitely a thicker formula. So you feel that more on your lips. So it's easier for things to get stuck in your hair. And this one here is shade 80 Magic. So overall, I think there are definitely some gems there. One product I did not like was the cream lip stains. So these, I just, the smell of this, I cannot get past. As soon as you open it, it's a very strong chemical scent. Uh, I smell alcohol and some sort of other sort of chemical components, and it takes a long time for it to fade. This will dry down on your lips to a matte stain. I wore it for a while to kind of test it, but I could still smell it. So for me, that is definitely a pass product. Uh, it looks nice on the lips, so if the smell doesn't bother you, then that's, you know, an option, but, for me personally, I couldn't get past that, that scent. Now, I also wanted to talk about the Sephora favorite sets. This is a great time to buy the Sephora favorite sets. They're typically already, you know, at a discount when you purchase the items in there. And some of the sets are just like a really great collection of products like the Holiday Sparkly Clean Beauty Kit. It's just a nice collection of products to try and so forth. Uh, they have a glitz and glam makeup set. So again, nice collections. But they have some of their sets where you get a redemption coupon for a full size in there as well. Like for example, the Lash Stash sets, you get all these different trial size mascaras and then you get a redemption coupon for a full size of your choice out of one of those items. Another one that I really like to get uh, usually is the Holiday Sephora Favorites Hair Kits. I buy this every year because you get a lot of, you get some, you know, like travel sizes, but you also get a lot of full size or larger deluxe sizes and so forth in there. So it ends up being uh, typically a pretty good value, especially if you can get the discount from the sales. So that's definitely something I always recommend. I'm looking for, last year they had a candle, Sephora Favorites candle set. I haven't seen it this year, but that's one with a redemption coupon. I, I recommend that if that comes back, definitely going to be getting that one. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good option as well. So those are kind of, um, you know, things that I think are definitely worth getting. Now the Sephora favorites do not count as Sephora collection items. So those will not be 30% off. Those will be whatever your discount is for the sale, whether you're Rouge VIB or Insider. Now, a lot of the brands on Sephora are things that you can find on sale at other places. Sometimes they are things where you can actually get a better discount 
directly from the brand. For example, Tatcha, you know, you can get 20% off if you're Rouge off Tatcha, but Tatcha often has a 20% off sale themselves off their website. So even if you're not Rouge, you can get that. So if you're Rouge buying something like Tatcha, totally fine. You know, it's equivalent to the sale on their website. However, they do often have like gifts with purchases in addition. So I do think it's slightly better still to go with the uh, brand versus Sephora. But if you are a VIB or insider, definitely purchase directly from the brand. So there are some brands though that I think it's definitely worth buying from Sephora with a discount. And that would be brands like Westman Atelier. Westman Atelier, they never have sales on their website. You can find them at department stores and you can occasionally find like a discount on them. But if you're Rouge, getting that 20% off is really key. So one of the things I recently featured on my channel was the new Westman Atelier Lazy 12 holiday set. So I really like that set because you've got some classic shades like our Contour Stick and Biscuit, which is reimagined as a lit up stick. Let me go ahead and put that right here. And I love the concept of kind of taking those shades and putting them in something a little bit more unexpected. But we also have a brand new powder blush. So I'm hoping that this powder blush then is just kind of our introduction, their way of testing the market for powder blushes. It's a really nice formula. Now I don't have the powder bronzer from Westman Atelier, so I don't know exactly how close they are. This is in the shade Petal, and right now it's only available in the holiday set. So I think that's a really great option. They also have a mini brush set, which has some classic brush shapes. And I'll feature those in another video soon, you know, cause I do have the full sizes of them. But if they are ones that you've been looking at, it's a nice set. And again, if you can get it on sale, this is gonna be the <laughs> pretty much, you know, your, your best opportunity to get it. I also have really been enjoying the Westman Atelier I Want You Mascara. So their first mascara that they launched was called the I Love You Mascara, and that one did not work well on me. It was kind of a smudgy mess, but the I Want You comes in black or brown, and I've been loving it. I have it in the brown, and it's a great daily mascara. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. Another brand that I think is great to purchase during this Sephora sale would be Dyson. So you can find Dyson on sale at other retails occasionally. If you've got Rouge, again, that 20% off is great. But a lot of times, if you can talk to a sales associate at Nordstrom, usually you have to do this, you know, in person or over the phone, you know, with somebody maybe you've met in person. Uh, you know, I haven't had luck just calling up and asking for a price adjustment, but you know, if I have had luck, you know, talking to somebody at the counter at the store and you can get the 20% off price adjustment for Dyson items at Nordstrom. And, you know, even if you're not Rouge, they will do the 20% off, which is great. So I'm actually thinking of purchasing the Air Straight hair straightener. I'm curious about that. You know, my hair, this is it normally as it dries, it just goes straight. And so I'm kind of curious about the, uh, you know, air straightener, air straight. <laughs> so I'm considering purchasing it just to get my hair a little bit smoother. Right now at this time of year, I don't get a ton of frizz, but uh, for probably half the year at least, I get a ton of frizz very easily. So I do occasionally use a straightener and I'm curious how that compares. I love the air wrap. I use the air wrap pretty much every day. It's one of the only ways I can get volume in my hair. And so I would highly recommend the air wrap, but I am thinking of purchasing the air straight uh, myself. So I think that's a great brand to look at and they do sell some of the attachments, you know, individually on Sephora as well, as well as Nordstrom now. And I love how for the air wrap, I use the long versions and they now sell the long versions. I had to purchase mine directly from Dyson because the long versions were not sold like a year or two ago. So, you know, I think it's a really great opportunity now. Now, Givenchy is another brand that it can actually be hard to find some of their items. So I do think purchasing during Sephora sale is a good opportunity. Now, they have been doing like some holiday sales on the Givenchy US website recently. So you've been able to get 20% off if you log into your account. I think that might have ended already, but they should be starting a new promotion very soon. 
And, you know, that's the first time really that I've seen that though. So I still think the Sephora recommendation, it would be good. One of the things I really like that is new from Givenchy is their liquid highlighter. So I have it in rose, but it also comes in a golden shade. And I think that this liquid highlighter is gorgeous on top or underneath makeup, really easy to use. You could also mix it with concealer. So I really like that. So they also have some like holiday lipstick sets, which I think is a really great deal. I actually have most of these shades already. So for me, I'm not gonna be picking this one up, but I think it's a great way to try the different finishes. So this set of four mini lipsticks has, let's see here, we've got the Intense Silk Formula. So that's kind of the new one that came out. It's their new like satin for, uh, finish. I think it's a nice formula. I would have to say though, still the best Givenchy lipstick formulas are their velvets. Both the deep and the sheer velvet are, are the best in my opinion. And I'm really loving their liquids too. So I think, you know, this mini set is great because you've got kind of, you know, a range of shades here as well. You've got you know, a nude pink, you've got kind of an orangey red, you've got a deeper red. So, you know, a great set, especially with the 20% off. So speaking of those, as I mentioned, the liquid lipsticks, I think those are really nice. They're the cream velvets. Those are a really great product from Givenchy. And as I mentioned, my favorite lip liner is from Givenchy. So this one here is number eight, Parma Silhouette. And this I use almost every day. It's just a great nude pink. I used to always use the Pat McGrath. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. Um, I can't remember what that one was called, but they discontinued it. The closest one that they replaced it with was Half Naked, which is also great, but I do tend to use this one the most. So I think this one, you know, it's kind of stolen my heart there. <laughs> and of course I would recommend the Givenchy uh, you know, deep velvets, the sheer velvets. I love the Prism Libre powder. I don't love the new holiday one because it's kind of a matte glittery powder, which is not my favorite, but I think those are great. And I also really like the, um, I like their new concealer, their concealer. I don't really use it under my eyes, but I like that for all over on the face concealing, or, you know, if you're going for like a barely any base product kind of look, uh, I think it's a really great concealer and that's my favorite use for that one. So I think it's a really, really nice option. And the black lip balm. I love that black lip balm from Givenchy. I keep mine in my handbag at all times. It's one of my favorites and it looks black, but you know, it turns a bit berry on the lips. Really beautiful, keeps my lips hydrated, but it's a very thin kind of waxy formula. So it's a good barrier. Gucci, Sephora actually has quite a few of the Gucci holiday sets now, which I think is great. Now, again, Gucci is one that you can't always find on sale very often, so I think this is another great brand to get from Sephora. I think their blushes are great if you haven't looked at the new ones from this summer with the true pink and so forth. My favorite is the Intense Plum. I think that's a gorgeous shade. The Gucci Bronzer, uh, that is that and the Surat Bronzer, those are my two favorite bronzers. And I, I personally wear number one in that, but they also have the holiday packaging for the bronzer if you're interested in that. And you know, a whole bunch of different little holiday sets with mini lipsticks, fragrances, and so forth. Uh, so I think those are all good. I do also like their eyeshadow palette, uh, the most recent one that came out with the blues and the purples. I think that's a, a good one as well. But let's move on to some newer items because I know I discussed that in a previous video. So Guerlain, again, they did reformulate the meteorites. This is the holiday meteorites for this year. Sephora has them. I think it's a great opportunity to pick this up. I love the packaging on here. I do prefer the older color, which was a little bit cooler, but this new one gives you kind of like a candlelit look. So it's a little bit, it's warm. It's more of a soft golden candlelight kind of look. And so if you're interested in the Guerlain holiday collection, I think they did a really nice job with their holiday collection. And so, you know, I would, I would recommend that. And I think getting it on sale is definitely a bonus. 
I'm also a huge fan of the Bee Glow lip balms. I wear the Lavender Glow all the time. I'm actually going to be purchasing a new one of those because I've pretty much used my first one up. That one is my favorite. I also love the Blossom Glow, which was limited edition, but I don't see that one on the site anymore. Another great deal, uh, if you like the Guerlain skincare, Sephora has some skincare sets, which are already discounted, so then to get the discount on top of them, it's a really nice deal. So I, I've used the watery oil. I used to use that for years when I was a bit younger. It worked really well for my skin type. I'm actually going to pick up one of the sets and use that one again. So I think that's a nice option. I also really love the Guerlain Flora or Aqua Allegoria fragrances. My favorite is the Mandarin Basilic, uh, but I have quite a few of them. So uh, I love I love the fruity ones. So the uh, grapefruit one, the what's that? The Pompalum and so forth. The the Orange Solea I don't think is that great but i do love you know i would have to say out of the ones at sephora the mandarin basilic is definitely my favorite and everybody i know who has smelled it has always ended up loving that one this is also a great opportunity to get house labs on sale so i have been wanting to try the house labs highlighter and last time it sold out in the shade that i wanted during the sale so i passed on that but i do have some of the powder blushes and i think they're really nice so i definitely want to try the highlighter and perhaps some of her other products if you've tried a bunch of her items let me know uh, what your favorites are but you know they've got like a mini lip oil set and things like that on there Thanks. now since house labs isn't really sold in too many places this is definitely a great opportunity to purchase products at a discount this is also a great time to get the hourglass palettes on sale so this is the jellyfish one i really like this one again you're not going to be able to customize like you can the hourglass website but you can potentially get up to 20 percent off so i think that's a great deal there i really love having the mix there but again check and see you know this year, I think they did a better job of not having too many repromotes, except for the one color story. But, you know, definitely check your collection first. They also have the Holiday Glossy Balm Lip Duo. And I have to say, I do really like their Glossy Balms. So this summer, they came out with some new shades. And this one here is 100 Rise. And let's squeeze that in up here. I think these are really nice. They're comfortable. They're glossy. They're very soft, so they are gonna be in the click up kind of packaging, which I don't love. These are kind of in between a gloss and a lip balm though. So just keep in mind, you can definitely get pigmented shades in here, but a lot of them, like this one here, is gonna be very light. So just something to know, but I think the formula on those is great. And Ilya, this is my favorite product from Ilya. This is the lip gloss. This one here is maybe violet, which, Actually, let me put this near the sugar glider and the bellflower so you can kind of see that. You can see it's a little bit more pink. Really great shade though. I love these uh, balmy glosses and I picked up most of them last time, but I think I'm gonna finish, finish those off now. They have, I think, six shades and there's always something that I want that's out of stock. So I would definitely recommend those. That's my favorite product from Ilya. K18, I still use their hair mask. Uh, so I use that on myself and on my kids, particularly my oldest who has very long hair. My youngest cut hers, so she doesn't really need the mask so much. But once a week or so, we will use that mask and you know, you use it in place of conditioner. So you'll shampoo your hair, you put the hair mask in when you get out of the shower and uh, you know, you just leave that in and it does a great job, keeps our hair nice and healthy, works well on me as well. So I love that mask and I think it is a great option. So they have a, they have a couple sets available right now. So they have a damage control duo set which I haven't tried their hair oil, but basically the full size mask is $75. So for an extra $5, you get this 10 milliliter bottle of the hair oil. So I think that's worth it. And then we also have a set with the Detox Anywhere, um, that set. So it's got the Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. I have that. And I think that's actually, you know, it's a nice, shampoo for once in a while it's a clarifying shampoo 
It's definitely on the stronger side though. So, you know, it's definitely gonna remove a lot of stuff from your hair. So you don't wanna use it too frequently, but it's one that I used a lot during the summer. Make sure I got all the sunscreen and all that stuff out of my hair. Um, so I'll use that like occasionally, like once a month. So I actually have a full size bottle of that and it takes, I mean, I'm nowhere near finishing it. You don't need much. So anyway, you get a mini size of the shampoo and a mini size of the hair mask for $35. So it's a good way to try it out, especially if you're getting that, you know, for under 30 bucks. This is also a good opportunity to buy any Killian fragrances on sale. I do typically buy mine from Saks. Occasionally you can get them like 25% off or, you know, with one of those gift card events where, you know, I try and get my totals exactly to your your minimum amount there. So I get maximize my discount. So um, I think that's a good option. Now, Macrine Actives, I have not tried them yet. They're on my wish list. So I'm actually considering picking something up from the brand to try them out. So if you've tried them, I'd love your recommendations down below in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Um, Makeup by Mario. You know, if you've been looking for the Ethereal Eyes palette you know, that is available still, I think that's a nice palette of neutrals with some mattes and some shimmers. You know, you definitely have some similar palettes out there. So it's a nice one if that's one you've been trying to trying to get, but there are definitely some other options that I think, you know, are good options as well, like Natasha Denona and so forth. So I think those are nice. The Soft Pop and Plumping Blush Veils, those came out this year. I think those are nice. They're not a favorite, but I do think that they are a nice product. I also really like their Plumping Lip Serum in texture. They're similar to the Hourglass uh, Glossy Veil, Glossy Duo Veil. <laughs> and, um, but I don't love the packaging on there with the click up and the hourglass is the same way, but at least you've got kind of that heftier weight. So, and I, it, since it is kind of um, more narrow in diameter, it's easier not to put up too much. So that's my problem with the, the Makeup by Mario, but they do have some great shades. And right now they have a really nice duo available for, well, it's $24. And there are three different uh, combinations that you can pick up. I have the Mauve Glow shade and I really like that one. Now those are minis. So just be clear, they are a duo of minis. Merit, I actually purchased some of their new eyeshadows. I haven't tried them yet though. So I will definitely try to get to those during the sale and let you guys know my thoughts. So um, yeah, let me know if you've tried those and what your thoughts are. But you know, uh, they do have some nice products. I like their minimalist perfecting stick, but it does kind of dry out fairly quickly. So you gotta use it on a regular basis or, you know, it'll be, um, it kind of falls out of the tube when it starts to dry out. Their uh, flush balm cream blushes, I think are really nice as well. So those are a nice product and they have a nice little trio for the holidays. So I think that's a good, a good value there. So you get three shades for $39. They are minis. And the shades here are going to be Beverly Hills, with, which is a soft peach, Fox, a warm taupe, and Rouge Red. I might pick that one up. I also really like the Merit lipsticks. I think those are a great formula. Now they do have castor oil in them, which does not bother me, but for some people it can be drying on their lips. It is not for me. It works just fine. Um, so I personally think they have some great shades in there and they you know, really kind of remind me a lot of favorites I had from the 90s. Now, Natasha Denona, I actually have not picked up the Xenon palette yet. I was out of town when it launched and I was going to get it with my Ulta 20% off coupon, but I didn't realize the one online in my account versus my email was different and it wasn't working. And so I ended up not getting it yet. I'm trying to decide if I should get it or not. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But, you know, I think it looks absolutely beautiful in pictures, but my issue with it is it's pretty much all grays, blacks, and whites. And they're just like essentially different finishes of the same color. So I feel like a lot of them are gonna be very repetitive on the lids. So I'm kind of torn on that. And I did recently pick up the new um, mini, the Trio Chrome mini. I haven't used that one yet. So that'll be coming soon as well, but I don't see that one available on her website. I do really like some of her minis though, like the retro and the pastel I think are great. I love her midi palettes in the uh, retro glam I think is pretty. The pastel I really like. 
Um, and the I Need a Nude, I like her new I Need a Nude and the Glam palette as well. So those are ones that I think are really nice. I personally am not huge on her lip products though, personally. Necessaire, that's another brand that I do always purchase during the Sephora sale. And, um, you know, they actually sent me their body peel recently, which just launched and I've just started using it and you use it only like a couple times a week. And the first time I use it, I use it on my arms, I get keratosis pilaris. And so I used it and the bumps felt like magnified the next day. So I used it, you know, waited a couple days. I used it again and then baby smooth skin. It was awesome. There was no stinging or anything. So I've used it like four times so far. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying that. So I think that's great. They just launched a new uh, hand cream, a hand retinol cream. And I can't wait to, you know, kind of see how that one does. So they are actually going to be sending me that cream, the hand cream. But I, yeah, I can't wait to try that. So other things that I bought from them that I really love would be the body serum. That's one that I have been buying for a couple of years now. I really like that. And I've also been using the body lotion. So I am somebody who like, I never use lotion on my body in, during the daytime because I hate the feeling of having it on under my clothes, but the necessary ones sink in so well that I don't, I don't mind them. So that's kind of how I started with the body serum. And then I've progressed to the lotion during the colder months. And I'm really enjoying that combination. Now I have used their shampoo and conditioner and I liked them a lot at first, but by the time I got to the end of the bottle, I found that they were just a little bit dry for me. So depending on your hair type, I think they're gonna work best for people with oilier hair types. Nest New York, uh, the candles, I love Nest fragrances. I love their tangerine candle, the grapefruit candle. Those are like two of my favorites. 20% uh, off with them I think is okay, but you can also sometimes get 20% off at Nest directly. And Skin Store, you can sometimes get 20 or even 25% off. So I I typically purchase those at other locations, um, but occasionally I'll get something at Sephora, you know, if I missed out on a sale. But right now I'm kind of waiting for uh, Black Friday deals. I'm hoping that Nest or Skin Store will have a, a big deal on there because I, uh, bought a lot of candles recently and I still want more. <laughs> but one thing I did buy from the Sephora sale last time were the Nest Rollerball fragr fragrances. And uh, I've actually been really enjoying them. They're just a nice light fragrance. I have a friend of mine who, she doesn't like to wear like, regular perfume it's too strong for her but she loves these light rollerball fra fragrances so she keeps them in her purse and so forth and uh yeah i think these are really great so those i would recommend and um you know i don't always see those available at like skin store and so forth so you know kind of look around and see what's available at which site <laughs> and sephora might be your best option depending on what the item is New Face, you know, I think they are a great product, but I do think that you can sometimes find like a better deal at places like Current Body or even Nordstrom. So 20% off is good, but I do feel like sometimes you can see an even better discount or a bundle deal at one of the other retails retailers. So, you know, if you're looking for something like, uh, you know, a serum, like a refill, I think buying from Sephora is a fair deal. But if you're looking for an actual device, I think you can find a better deal probably around Black Friday at a different retailer. And Orbe, who doesn't love Orbe hair products? Um, you know, I actually already purchased all of my Orbe items during their friends and family sale, which was 20% off just like you could get from Sephora here. So, you know, I would definitely, you know, try to, if you, you missed out on that, you might want to purchase from Sephora. But my favorite is the Imperial Blowout Transformative Styling Hair Cream. I put that in after I wash my hair on most days and, you know, I really enjoy that. So, um, yeah, you know, great. It's a pretty good opportunity to buy their items. Way, I, you know, I don't use a ton of their products, but what I do use is their detangling leave-in conditioner. So one of my daughters absolutely loves that one. So we use that one pretty regularly, but she kind of has a new favorite now. So she has long, thick hair. I have very fine hair. So the way, you know, I don't typically don't need that. Um, occasionally though, I will use this other one that is her new favorite and that is the Fable and Main Maha Main leave-in conditioner. 
the scent on that is awesome. It really smells nice, kind of tropical, and it works really well. So that one is a favorite. I'll actually have to be buying another bottle of that one. The first one we got was gifted, but it's one that we are repurchasing because it's really awesome. And that's, she swears by that now. And she's also kind of addicted to Philip B <laughs> hair care products. So, you know, she, she's nine and she's just starting to kind of be uh, kind of picky about what she uses. So uh, yeah, with her hair and how easily it gets tangled and she's very active, very sporty. So, you know, she needs things where it detangles very easily. And yeah, that, those are her favorites now. Pat McGrath, honestly, I would just purchase from her website. I know it can be a pain, but you get much better deals. So um, that'd be my recommendation for Pat McGrath. Ranavat. I haven't tried much from them, but I do like this hydrating jasmine mist. So this is my second bottle of this so far. I, you know, it's a face mist, so you can spray it on your face. But honestly, I use this usually to wet my makeup brushes. Um, it, I love the scent. It's very relaxing and, you know, nice skincare benefits versus plain water. So yeah, that, that's kind of my primary purpose with that one. But I do really like that. I've heard good things about other items in the line, but I haven't tried anything else yet. Ren Skincare. This is a brand that I used to use all the time. This was kind of my go-to skincare brand many years ago. And there are still some products or some newer items that have come out that I still really like. Uh, one of them is the Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm. So I think that's a really nice balm to put on for like dry, dehydrated skin, leave that on overnight. So I really like that one. And then other items, Rose Ink, you know, they actually just ran 20% off on their website, but you know, it's a good opportunity to try things out here as well. I personally, they don't have the little lip trio at Sephora anymore. They still have it on the Rose Ink website, but I would definitely recommend that. I do, I haven't tried everything from them, but I do really like their blushes, their cream blushes. They're a nice formula. So I think that's great. Their Rose Ink uh, concealer was actually pretty nice as well. So right now they have a cream blush and lipstick duo set. I think that's a good deal. And Shark Beauty, I've been really curious about the air wrap dupe. I'm not gonna purchase it since I don't need it, but I, if you've tried both, I'd love to know, you know how similar they are. But it's definitely a great lower price alternative to the air wrap. And so I think that's a really nice option. Super Goop, this might be a good time to buy as well. They do run 20% off on their website uh, various times throughout the year. So, you know, the last one was maybe like a month ago. And if you sign up for their emails, you can definitely stay in touch with that. So it's another option, but I do, I use their everyday play sunscreen as, you know, it, we keep the big tub, the pump bottle, you know, on the counter. So everybody uses it. My husband plays tennis all the time. So that's the sunscreen he, he prefers. And then I make my kids use it. We use it during the summer and so forth. So I think that's a good option as well. Super Zero, uh, they are shampoo bars. And I have to say, I did not think these would be that great. I've tried shampoo bars in the past and they kind of leave a film on my hair, but the Super Zero have not. So I actually think that they're, their conditioning bar is really nice. I have the one, I think I have the fine and thin hair <laughs> conditioner. And um, yeah, or maybe it's the hydrating bond repair, that's it. So I have the hydrating bond repair conditioner and then I have a couple of their shampoos which are triangular shaped. So I have the purple one and the fine hair volumizing one. And I have to say, I really like them. I used them for like six months straight. Now I kind of like, I've been bouncing around with different brands and so forth, but I think those are a really nice product. I was really surprised if you travel a lot, it's always nice to be able to carry your own shampoo without dealing with the liquids limits. So I think that's a good option. We already mentioned Tatcha. You know, I do typically prefer to buy directly from the brand for them. Tom Ford, you can find them on sale at Macy's and Nordstrom, but usually only 15% off. So if you can get Rouge, I think it's a good option. I'm loving the new Soleil Neige highlighters. I love both shades. I've been wearing them quite a bit, so I think those are good options. And then we also have, you know, the new Soleil Neige eyeshadow quad, which I think is nice. You know, it's not a fantastic formula, but I love the color story. So 
you know, it's worth it on sale. Their lipsticks still missing sugar glider, <laughs> which is out of stock, but uh, they do have some great other shades there as well. Their lip glosses I think are great. You know, so there are some really nice options. I love their shade and illuminate highlighters as well. And yeah, so I think those are really great options. And their blushes, I almost forgot about their blushes. I love the shade and illuminate blushes. They are expensive, but they are great uh, because you're getting a soft matte finish with a bit of blurring action and you know, out of, I get asked a lot about mature skin, which blushes work really well on mature skin. I think these are some of the best. So definitely expensive, but you get two shades in one, sort of. And uh, yeah, I, I think they're worth it. Urban Decay, you know, I just tried them again recently. I hadn't used them for a while. I do wanna try the glitter eyeliner and see how that is. And I have the uh, Galactic Girl, or Galactic Cowgirl uh, Moon Dust Palette, and I think that's really nice. I had originally ordered this one, the one that they have here, which is Space Cowboy from Sephora, but they um, lost my order. So I'm trying to decide, I'll probably reorder that one, but I think, you know, it's a great way to try out Urban Decay. It's definitely more affordable than purchasing the singles. And from what I understand, they're pretty much the same. So Valentino, I mean, definitely look into the lipsticks and the blushes here. I think those are great. And I love the Liquid Rossos. I just did a video on these, so I won't, you know, talk about these too much, but the Liquid Rosso product, it's a liquid lipstick and cheek product. And it is probably the best that I have tried that does that kind of combination. I think they are awesome. You've got some beautiful colors, really beautiful formula and performance is great. So highly recommend that. And the Valentino concealer, I wear shade LIGR2. I'm buying another one. So these are kind of small, which is fine because you know, it's near your eyes. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to use something that's really old in that formula. So I definitely, um, yeah, I'm picking up another one. I absolutely love that. So I think that's a really great one, but they've got the new holiday items. So I would definitely recommend picking those up. I think they're gorgeous. Viore, uh, Viore shampoo bars. I actually purchased these, but I haven't tried them yet. I uh, can't wait to try those, but uh, you know, the packaging on those is gorgeous. I use the little bamboo holder for my Super Zero one so far. I really like them. The Valespa or Voluspa candles. I think those are nice on sale. Uh, you can also find these sometimes at a better deal, actually, at Anthropology. They'll sometimes run like 30% off, uh, you know, candles or even 30% off site-wide periodically, and they do carry these. So I think that's a better place to get them. But I do occasionally buy them from Sephora. You'll also see them usually during the Black Friday sale. Certain scents will be in the sales section. So just something to note there. And I mentioned Westman Atelier. I think that's a great brand to purchase here. YSL, you can also find a, a nice discount at the YSL website, but I typically don't have the best luck ordering from them online because my orders usually take weeks to arrive. So uh, one of the things I really love would be this liquid highlighter. This one here is in New Rosy Quartz. And I love this liquid highlighter. This I wore this pretty much all summer. I think this is great. I also really love the Lash Clash Mascara and I have the new blue shade and the brown shade. And uh, yeah, I would definitely say those are worth picking up. I've also uh, tried out some of the new YSL lipsticks. Those are nice. So not too different from the previous formula. So if you liked those, definitely worth picking up. And then the last thing I wanted to mention were the Charlotte Tilbury holiday items, which I purchased mine from Charlotte Tilbury, but they arrived broken. So they did resend me new ones. So I don't have a video yet. It took a little while to do all of that, but I will have that up soon. I think they look gorgeous. And uh, yeah, so those are my recommendations and my wish list items for this for sale. Again, I have a very detailed guide on ShopMy with thoughts and details and so forth, not just a list of items. So definitely check that out for some additional things. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, if you have any recommendations. And thank you so much for tuning in. Happy shopping, and I'll see you very soon.